Let us now take a look at how an expression is evaluated in C. Let's try to understand the difference between integer division and floating point division because it is so important and students frequently make mistakes in trying to understand this very simple concept. So what I'm doing here is I have 1 plus 2 into 3 minus 4 by 5. Okay, it says the result is 7. Let's not worry about the result. So if you look at it here, this fellow and this division have got priority number 1. Plus and this minus have got priority number 2. Now again, since both of them have got priority 1, multiplication and division, I need to take a call which I need to do first. Here, the principle of associativity helps me. It tells me arithmetic operators are always evaluated from left to right. So first what I will do is I will make this step next. I will take this and I will make it 1 plus 3 into 2 is 6 minus 4 upon 5. Now the next priority was division. Here you need to understand I am doing a normal integer division. 4 upon 5 is not going to be 0 0.08 it is going to turn out to be 0. So this the result of this is going to be 1 plus 6 minus 0. Then it is easy 1 plus 6 is 7 that's why you ended up getting the value 7. So this is how integer division works in an expression. So don't assume that 4 upon 5 is not going to be 6.2 because of that division all right. So 4 by 5 is not going to give you a fractional remainder. Now I have done something different. I have done 1 plus 2 into 3 minus 4.0 upon 5. As usual multiplication and division have the topmost priority. So what is going to happen is it's going to multiply first because from left to right multiplication came before division. So 3 into 2 is 6. So now how this looks? This looks 1 plus 6 minus 4.0 upon 5. Since the numerator is a real number, it will forcibly convert the denominator also into a real number because the type of real number is bigger or considered to be bigger than integers. So now when this is divided by this, what is going to happen is it's going to relate to 0 0.5. 8. 4 divided by 5 is going to be 0 0.8. Now it is going to look 1 plus 6 minus 0 0.8. Now both are equal but again we go from left to right. This happens to be 7 minus 0 0.8 which is equal to 6.2. Alright. So let's check if that is the result. So that is the result. So you did see here 2 into 3 is first then you can put this into bracket. This gets evaluated first. This gets evaluated next then this plus the result of this then minus this is going to give you this 6.2. So I hope this gave you a clear idea of what is integer division in expressions through a couple of simple examples. Now let's take a look at another expression to give you a little more clarity on how the priority of the operators or the precedence of the operators and how associativity is determined. So if you look at this expression it is minus 2 plus 11 minus 7 into 9 mod 6 divided by 12. So here if you look at this expression the highest priority is always going to be with the unary operator. So what is the unary operator? Minus. So first thing this expression gets evaluated is my this 2 is going to become minus 2 and its associativity is from right to left doesn't really make a difference in this case. Then after unary I am seeing plus minus multiplication mod and division. So all of these fellows multiplication mod and division evaluated from left to right have got priority or precedence number 2. Then this is followed by what? Plus minus and that's it plus and minus are the only two operators. This has got precedence number 3. Finally the result of this is given to x. And in C, this is a new thing for you maybe, this is known as the assignment operator. The assignment is also an operator in C. Therefore, assignment has got the lowest priority and it is always from right to left. It makes perfect sense because first you want this to be evaluated and the result then dumped into 
x. That's why the result from this side, calculation from this side ends up going into x. That is the job of this assignment operator to take whatever is the result on the right hand side and assign it to a memory location on the left hand side. The left hand side cannot be a constant location. So this session gave you an idea about integer division, real number division, as well as told you how the operators get evaluated. We will be trying to solve at least two to three examples involving expressions step by step to give you a much better idea about understanding precedence and associativity. It is important to make an effort to understand precedence and associativity because when you're doing pointers, a lot of times, in fact, the, only, the reason you get confused with pointers is because your concepts of precedence and associativity are unclear. So please pay attention to the next few sessions and make an effort to understand the arithmetic expressions.